I'm Ashley, and I'm the Makerspace and Art Coordinator here at the Children's Discovery Museum of the Desert. Today we're going to be making a simple craft out of materials that you can find at home. Today we'll be making a May Day pole in honor of May Day. Now May Day is a festival usually about flowers in springtime and moving on into the summer and new life. So what we're going to be using today, um, we're going to have some tissue paper, some crayons, or you can use markers at home as well. I have some ribbon here, or you could use yarn, whatever is available to you, and a paper towel dispenser, too. We also have some scissors, tape, and a hole punch, just to get us started. All right, so for this craft, we're going to start out with using our paper towel, too, and we are going to make, I have one, two, three ribbon, so we're going to make three holes at the top. You can use up to four or five ribbons for this project. It really just depends on how many ribbons you want to cover the rest of your tube. All right, so I have three right there. We're gonna go ahead and use that. And your next step is going to be to take your ribbon or yarn and thread it through the holes that you've just made on your toilet paper tube. Now what I like to do is I like to thread it from the front and then tie up here at the top to secure that ribbon in place. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that for all three holes that I've made. That way I can get all of my ribbon color choices up on my toilet paper tube. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna tie there. You can always use a grown up's help to get a good knot going for you. Or if maybe you run out of ribbon or maybe it's a little too difficult for you, you can use some tape and secure it in place as well. And for my last one, I'm gonna go ahead and thread through. Top, there we go. And we're going to tie. There. All right. So now that I have those ribbons in place, we're going to take one at a time and wrap them all the way down our tube until we reach the other side. You're going to want to have a little bit of spacing in between your ribbon. That way you can fit the other colors of ribbon between them. So now that I'm at the end, I'm going to use a piece of tape to secure right there. And there we go. If you're using glue, uh, remember to put a good dot of glue down underneath your ribbon and hold it in place for about 10 seconds. At least sing the happy birthday song. All right. So now I'm going to take the other pieces of ribbon and continue. And there we go. There's pink. Now I chose these colors mostly because they remind me of the spring and summer. I also really like these colors because they remind me a lot about the Palm Springs area. Uh, just the mid-modern colors and design. Uh, I like that they're bright and they kind of remind me of relaxing by the pool, to be honest. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, get this one all the way down, and tape. Now what's really going to help you during this project too, and what you can get a little more practice of, is measurements as well. So what would have helped me during this one is to measure out the ribbons so that they were the same size, or at least twice, twice the length of the toilet paper tube. All right, so now that we have our ribbon in place, we can decorate it with some crayons. So I'm gonna add some flowers. And you can add whatever you would like at home as long as you post it in the comments below so that we can see it too. All right, the final step for my Mayday project is gonna be adding some tissue paper flowers. Mayday is all about spring and, and flowers and uh, blooming into new life. So we are going to make that come to life. All right, so I just made one. How you're gonna make one is you're gonna take a piece of uh, tissue paper, you're going to pinch at the back in the center of the paper, and then you're gonna use your other hand to kind of crinkle and crumple it and move it around to where it looks like a flower. All right, now that I have my little flower, I'm going to use some tape and secure it in place. There we go at the top 
And then I would continue to do that until I was all done. And you can see from my other May Day poll that I have right here that we've had the tissue paper flowers at the top. And on this one, I used four colors of ribbon. And on this one, I used the three. So you can see the difference in there. If you wanted to add some coloring of your own, use the three. If you wanted to have it all covered with ribbon, use four to five. All right, that is it for our craft today. I hope you enjoyed it and please leave any comments of, of your pictures of your May Day polls, any crafts that you would like to see in the future and make sure to follow and like our Facebook and Instagram pages. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.